What's going on everybody? Joel here from State 48 Exotics and in today's video we are going to show off our most recent pickup. This has been my absolute dream snake so super excited to uh, let you all see her. I've never shown her anywhere else. She hasn't even made it to Instagram yet so this is an exciting video for me to make. Um, and then I lied to everybody actually in the last video it was our holdbacks that we, uh, we had and there was a pickup that we didn't talk about. So we're gonna do that today as well. So before we dive on into that, I just want to take a quick second to do some updates. Uh, it's been a little bit since we've been on here, I apologize for that, but we do have some cool things happening with our breeding season. Uh, we do have one girl that is showing all of the right signs. She uh, has been sitting in her bowl, bowl wrapping, uh, you know, obviously just trying to be very cool, which is, uh, you know, good signs that she's building. And that girl was bred to our Hypo White Lace. Um, so we're gonna take a look at both of them really quick. Uh, she's actually currently in shed, which is really cool because I wanna start doing a new maybe little segment here uh, called, maybe, like, I don't know, fresh shed. We're gonna do a, a fresh shed footage. So maybe she can be the start. You can see her pre-shed, uh, and then we'll see a post-shed in a different video. But let's. Uh, let's check this pair out really quick. All right, so real quick too, something I've been doing is yellow tags mean uh, in shed. Uh, kind of something that I can just kind of look around the room when I first walk in here and be like, okay, you know, and do a little bit of inventory check. But here she is. This is a pastel hypo inchy. So pastel inchy hypo. And she is huge. She's looking massive. You know, I don't want to mess with her too much. She is in shed, but... Uh, yeah, there she is, kind of pre-shed. I would I would expect her to shed out maybe in the next two or three days. So uh, we got a little bit of time, but while I'm in here, uh, definitely gonna mist her down. So this is definitely something I do as well, especially being here in Arizona, uh, and especially in winter, there is just no humidity. So definitely something uh, something we like to do around here because we like those big full sheds and that's uh, pretty easy for ball pythons to do, pull off those big sheds. You know, some of these uh, bigger snakes over here have a little bit harder time with that, but these girls, they do great. But yeah, there she is. Okay, so next guy up is right here. Uh, something also I do, this is kind of a question, blue dots are males. So all of my males are on the bottom of the rack. Uh, and as you go up, you get uh, females and then obviously grow outs and stuff like that are up there. Um, so the lower racks are cooler. Uh, males like it a little cooler, especially in the breeding season. I want females to kind of dictate how uh, how hot or cold they are. So the uh, taller racks seem to, or the racks that are up higher help out with that a little bit because, you know, hot air rises, stuff like that. So uh, just a, a random tip. Uh, if anybody is watching this that hasn't uh, done that, might be something to try. All right, so without further ado, the male that was paired with her is uh, this dude right here. This is the uh, Hypo White Lace. He's a little balled up right now. He's actually pretty sassy. Uh, um, so I'll just uh, see if we can get a better look right here at him. But look at those colors. I mean, there is color within the color right there. Look at that. I mean, the white lace or, or the super form of lace is just doing so much. And as you all know, Hypo, I, uh, I am a huge fan of Hypo. I mean, look at the head stamp on that snake. That's, it's, it's just such a cool gene and uh, crazy, crazy potential, I feel like, and what we can really do with it. You've all seen some of the lace clowns and stuff like that. So yeah, there's just, there's a lot to be done. Um, super excited for this pairing. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. You know, what's really cool about this is uh, every one of them is going to be a lace. So the really cool thing about that pairing in particular is that he is the super version of the lace. You know, we kind of talked about that a little bit, but basically that means there can be no normals out of this uh, this clutch. So uh, with any luck, we are gonna hit ourselves a pastel inchy lace hypo. Um, so very, very excited for this. Um, worst case, we're gonna have a bunch of hypo lace animals. So 
Um, yeah, really excited. You all know I'm really amped up on the Hypo project. I'm obviously very excited about the Lace project. He's been uh, actually a pretty busy dude around here, so I'm excited for what's to come. Okay, so now time to get to the aforementioned uh, missed animal, the, the animal that I forgot to show in my last video. I think it was either last video or two video ago. I don't know. It'll be, it'll be linked at the end of this video, so you can uh, check that out and see where I missed it. But it is a uh, another female. You know, we, we bought a lot of females this year and we held back a lot of females that we produced this year so uh, really really investing into the future um, and that's that's really what that means you know we, we have a long time coming until we're gonna see the uh, the light of a lot of the projects that we have planned um, but this girl I feel like is on the fast track she uh, never refuses a meal um, anyway, just let's let's check her out okay so here she is this is a leopard stranger um, she is also 100% het for pied which is you know pretty awesome you know typically the stranger gene is is definitely seen extensively in the clown project um, this this girl actually is pos het clown so you know if any luck uh, hopefully we can get ourselves actually a, a double het clown pied girl here uh, which would be pretty silly obviously um, just this was one of my dream snakes when I first got into this uh, and it kind of ties in well to today's video because that's what uh, that's what this video has kind of been all about you know um, getting uh, getting some animals that I've I've wanted for ages and ages and ages and I'm just very very excited to be working with the stranger project uh, you know obviously we have uh, some years to go before this girl's up to size but she is uh, she never refuses a meal she eats really well I feel like she puts on weight really well this is just such an incredible looking animal all in herself uh, I'm super excited to see maybe where we can take it but just like look at the just perfect stripe down her back um, it's the side patterning is just absolutely ridiculous um, there's just so much going on with this animal she's so rich and dark and the blacks are super black you know it's just all of those subtle details coming together to make just one incredible animal hopefully some incredible babies but yeah just wanted to uh, give this girl her moment uh, to shine a little bit definitely haven't seen a lot of snakes that look like her so it's something uh, something I'm really 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 excited for to uh, to look into the future basically but yeah here she is so what we all came here for uh, without further ado we are finally to uh, the second dream snake edition uh, and from none other than the man himself Brock Wagner truly appreciate it incredibly easy uh, process to purchase animal get the animal she arrived 100% healthy couldn't be uh, more grateful. So thank you so much, Brock. Um, and here she is. So there it is, everyone. Um, and you can probably instantly tell what we are working with here. This is a pastel sunset. And can I explain how excited I am to uh, finally have one of these animals and this and this genetic, you know, to work with. Um, as many of you may know, we uh, we did a big whiff this year on a double het to double het uh, sunset pied clutch, and we didn't uh, we didn't even get one sunset. And that was kind of, you know, it was honestly like my, you know, obviously one of my biggest goals was was uh, was to at least have a sunset out of that clutch. Um, the odds gods did not rain down on us, but we did get a really healthy clutch nonetheless, you know, I won't take that away from it, but we didn't get a sunset and uh, I knew I really needed to have one um, with a lot of the projects we are working towards. So I am just ecstatic. I mean, look at the color on this animal. You know, it sunset catches a, a little bit of flack, um, but it's just, you know, when you really start looking at the animal for what it is, not what you assume that it should be, it's just an incredible color palette to work with. And I'm just really, really excited for the future, obviously, of the project. And this girl actually is also 100% het for hypo. So, like I said, we're diving big into the hypo project. I am just very, very excited for where it can go. And this girl will hopefully take us in a really, 
really cool direction. So there they were. Um, that was the aforementioned girl that I cheated everyone on, the Leopard Stranger. Super, super amped up for that project. That was uh, kind of the one in, one two punch, I feel like, of my two dream snakes is, that I've ever, you know, wanted when I was like first getting into this industry and this hobby, like diving deep and, you know, kind of making some more investment level purchases and stuff like that it was like seeing that stranger complex, like that blew my mind. And then the sunset when Brian Barczyk was showing off the sunset, I was just like, this is the coolest snake ever. Like different color palette than any other snake that I have seen in the ball python industry. So that's something I, I want to have here and something I want to explore for sure. And, and hypo, I mean, what Braca showed us with uh, hypo and sunset genes kind of interacting, I just, the perfect snake. She's the perfect snake for me. So um, all of those things kind of wrapped up into one. Very, very grateful, very excited to be uh, working in the project now. Um, obviously we missed last year, so with any luck we can hit maybe even a sunset pie this year, but hopefully just another sunset because I do truly love the color that it brings and I can't wait to explore more of it. So uh, thank you all for sticking along this long uh, and listening to this last bit rant, but I hope you all are having an incredible season, um, an even better morning, evening, or night, whenever you may be watching this. Uh, and until the next one, we will see you all later.